These researchers are getting ready to dive into the pristine waters on the southern Great Barrier Reef. But they're worried about the extent of coral bleaching they'll see. This is my third time here over the course of this event this year, so I hate to say you're getting numb to it, but we kind of expected it, probably more than when we first came. One Tree Island is a remote research station 100 kilometres off the central Queensland coast. Warmer than average ocean temperatures last summer caused widespread damage. It's estimated more than 50% of the coral has died here. It was pretty, uh, I guess, shocking to go back out there and see the amount of coral death that we've had. We've only done two dives, but I'm sure we're going to see more of the same, just a lot of mortality. But there have been some small areas of recovery. One big moment was a parietes balmy that's just right off um, the station here. It's a really big, beautiful type of coral that it's huge. It's full of fish. And when we went to that site, I was so nervous because I'm like, oh, please, please let that thing be okay. And it was actually. The team is making 3D maps of this part of the reef to monitor its health. And we can track the colonies through time and actually see all those colonies, how they, what was their fate through this bleaching event. This tiny island is one of only two parts of the Great Barrier Reef, which is an orange zone, meaning it can only be accessed for education and research purposes and is a no-go zone for tourists. You're so far out from everything, which is what makes it so special. Scout Wallen, ABC News, One Tree Island.